Hello, what's up and what's happening ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel and today Not only do we have maybe the two toughest road games on the schedule with Washington and then USC in this gameplay But we also have a chance to catch the great Aaron Coley that man right there Deshaun Jackson He has a chance to get the most touchdown receptions in college football history Aaron Coley has 52 of those things d -Jax, as of right now I believe he has 50 so we're gonna see what he can do third down and four Matthews has the football we're gonna try to convert here and we're gonna find Cody Parks who's not going down without a fight he breaks through the contact and he's gone touchdown not d -Jax, but Mr. Cody Parks, who is a beast in his own right. Bailey going to get to the outside, going to weave through traffic. Now, this Washington offense isn't that great, but they do rely on the ground game. When it gets going, they can be pretty special. That passing attack leaves much to be desired. Second down and four, Jamal Drew going to pitch that thing to Bailey, and Bailey going to get loose, and Bailey tracked down by quarter. First down, Huskies at the 32-yard line. They give it to Bailey. I, I got, and that's going to result in a first down. 11 personnel out there for the Huskies. They're going to run the ball, and Jamal Drew with the fake pitch and works his way upfield for a gain of eight. We send the blitz. Not going to get to They throw the ball to the left side, and it's caught for a Huskies first down. Third and goal. Get your full backs involved. Up the gut. Touchdown, Huskies. And this football game is all tied up at 7 all. There goes Harper. He has space to operate. And Harper is going to pick up a first down. Second down and eight. Matthews throws a strike. Parks with the catch. He's loose again. Parks to the 30. Pushed out of bounds at the Huskies 24-yard line. Second down and 10. Matthews looking downfield. Throws it up to Cody Parks. And he hauls it in. Touchdown reception number two. Again, it's not Cody Parks that's up for a record. No, no, no. It's Mr. Jackson. But Cody out there getting nasty. Second down and eight. Jamal Drew gets the pitch off. Bailey has all kinds of speed. Brought down by Pratt. That's going to be a first down in the first quarter of play. Second down and seven from the 47. Give it to Drew again. Let the quarterback do what he does best. Running that football for another first down for the Huskies. Bailey going to get hit in the backfield though. Believe that that was Robinson that got to him. Now Drew going to go the other way, and Jamal Drew going to pick up a first down. Carter is there for another tackle. This fourth of the contest. But it's a first down for the Huskies. They pitch it to Bailey. Bailey is loose. Pratt is there. When your secondary is making all the tackles, you could be in for a long day. Drew, with the okie doke, the fake pitch got the best of Evans. And Jamal Drew going to sprint to the end zone. Touchdown, Huskies, 14-14. With 4-14 to go here in the second quarter. There goes Harper, and he coughs it up. And the Huskies are there for the recovery. So could it be the start of an upset? The Huskies only have one win this season, and Cal is ranked in the top three. There goes Jones in the fullback, showing off the moves. Third down and goal. Bailey into the end zone. Touchdown, Huskies, 21-14. to Powell offered from his own goal line. Going to get up to about the 25-yard line. First down and 10. Going to spread things out. Get the ball to Harper up the gut, and he meets a roadblock. Second down and 9 after a one-yard pickup. Matthews going to roll left. Throws it caught by Alfred, and we're inside Huskies territory. So we're at the Huskies 39-yard line. Three receivers to the right. One tied in. Montoya to the left. Going to throw it downfield. Caught by Jackson. His first catch goes for 29. Second down and goal. Give it to Harper. Harper. He's going to be fighting his way. Busting his way through contact. And he gets this one across the goal line. A very entertaining game so far. But if you are a Cal fan, I mean, you want to mind a blow versus a team like Washington. And there goes Beto. 40, 45, and caught from behind by Alfred, who saved the touchdown. For the 47, Jamal Drew, that's a design pass play. He's going to tuck it and run it. He is a freshman, so he might not have the best skills when it comes to reading the coverage. But he is an athlete, and he dies for the first down, but he's not going to get it. So Cal has two timeouts, 35 seconds on the clock. Matthews looking downfield. That pass caught by Jackson. 
shy of the first down. So third down and one, Matthews with 10 seconds on the clock, looking downfield, heaves it deep. Cody Parks makes the catch. And we're going to use our last or our second time out here. We still have one left, but we only have four seconds on the clock, so you can expect the field goal team out there. The kick is up, and the kick is good. So Cal will end the first half with the lead. So if you're Washington, you got to be excited about what you've been able to do so far today. You are losing, but number three is only up by three in the Golden Bears. So Washington takes over to start the second half. First down and 10 for the 20-yard line to get the ball to Jones. He fumbles. The ball still loose in the Golden Bears. Recover it. Pratt going to jump on top of that thing. Second down and nine for the Golden Bears. Going to run the ball, ball with Harper. And Harper to the 20. 15-10. Gets out of bounds at around the six-yard line. Second down and goal from the four. Matthew surveys the field. Throws it caught by Jackson. And that is going to be touchdown number 51 for him today. The record is 52. The beat he needs 53. Drew, look, Drew excuse me, looking downfield. Out pass caught by Sussman. And that's going to be a first down for Jamal Drew using that right arm of his. They're going to run the ball with him again. And he's loose. Jamal Drew is gone. Takes it right up the gut. And nobody laid a finger on him. And you could wave bye-bye from there. Second down and five from the 25. Going to give it to Stephon Thomas. Has the first down. Going to get forced out of bounds. Shout the 40-yard line. But it's going to be a first down for the Golden Bears. First down and 10 from the 37. Matthews, deep shot, caught by Bowling, and that's going to move the chains. Surveying the field, throwing over the middle, caught by Jackson, got tattooed, but he hangs on to the football. They get the ball to Thomas, weaving through traffic, and Thomas down to the one. First and goal, going to go with the end around. Jackson going to run about 30 yards to gain one, and that touchdown is another for the Heisman hopeful who won it last year, obviously. Brown gets in there for the TFL. His third tackle today, third down and six. They're gonna keep it on the ground and Bailey is loose. Bailey caught from behind by Kane. That just shows off the athleticism of our DN catching the running back about 30 yards downfield. But it is a first down nonetheless. They give it to Bailey again, picks up another first down. Second down and six, Drew. Loose. Drew gets hit. Pitches the ball to Bailey. Going to gain maybe an extra yard after the pitch. And they're going to give it to him again. And Bailey falls forward. Definitely having his best game of the season. From the 11-yard line. Toss play. Harris going to get tattooed in the backfield. And that's going to take us to the fourth quarter of play. We are up by 10. Jamal Drew throws it to the flat. Caught by Bailey. Brought down by Jake Anderson. So they got to set up for a field goal kick. It's going to be right through the uprights. The Huskies are down by seven. Valentin's in the ball game. You know what's coming. That option. We're going to run the ball. And Harper gets the pitch. And Harper has a first down. 79 yards on 10 carries for him. Going to go to the air here. Throwing it up top. Double coverage. But Jackson makes the play. Exactly what we needed. A playmaker making a play on a big down in a big game. Now Matthews looking down. Phil for Cody Parks. Not one, not two, but three touchdown receptions for Cody Parks. Four touchdown passes for Roosevelt Matthews. Jamal Drew fires that thing. Winston makes the catch. He puts on the Jets, and he's going to cross the goal line for the Huskies. Just when you thought it was safe to tell mama about your day, you know, hold everything. The day is not over just yet. We're up by seven. Take back over. Valentine. Going to get upfield. He's going to get smacked at around the 29-yard line. Gain of eight wide receiver screen. Cody Parks gets a block but forced out of bounds. Going backwards. So third down and six now. Matthew surveys the field. Throws it to Jackson. Tight coverage. There's no such thing as tight coverage with a quarterback like Roosevelt Matthews and a receiver like Deshaun Jackson. There goes Stephon Thomas. Weaving through traffic and brought down at the 15-yard line. Harper. Got a block, and Harper crosses the goal line with a four-yard touchdown run that puts us up by 14. We get some pressure, but it's caught by Campbell. That's good for the Huskies, but bad for California. Touchdown, Washington. Behold, everything is a flag. Bring it on back. Jamal Drew 
from the gun. Throws it up top, caught by Winston, who does it again. This time, there's no flags on the field, but Evans catches him at the one-yard line. 30 seconds on the clock. We get a good pass rush. They throw this tip and picked by Stewart. Stewart turns around to the 20, being chased from behind the Stewart. Crosses midfield to the 40. Bailey is the closest Husky, and he's not going to catch him a pick six to end what is a crazy game. 59 to 38 is the final. The California Golden Bears survive, and that's exactly what we needed to survive. These road games are never easy in college football. The crowd gets hyped, especially when you're a top five team or top 25 team or just an in-conference rival. Everybody gets hyped for those games, and Washington definitely came to play. They played their best game. Again, the offense isn't great, but they do rely on the ground game, and that ground game was phenomenal today. Jamal Drew might be a handful moving forward. They might recruit somebody to be a better passer of the football, but he's just a freshman. He has all the athleticism in the world. But our defense was able to contain him in that second half. Only one scoring drive that second half, and that basically was the difference as we go on to win by about 21 points, I believe, if my memory serves me correctly. But Cody Bailey had an incredible day. Um, Jamal Drew on the ground, like I mentioned. And then Winston came out of nowhere on back-to-back -back plays. One got called back, and the other one he got caught at the one-yard line. And then they end up throwing their pick. When it comes to recruiting, we got Matt Ferguson. We're going to set up a, a visit for him. We got all of our receivers looking good. So, again, this is a receiver you. It's turning into that, and hopefully we can live up to that billing. Cornerbacks, kind of shaky there. Drew Miller, he's the free safety that we're going after. Hopefully, we can land him. Your offense and defense are players of the week in college football look like this for the NCAA, the whole college landscape, Tom Houston, and then Brandon Jacobs. For the Pac-10, Cody Parks, big-time game. Chris Stewart with that pick six to seal things versus Washington, two Golden Bears. That's what we want to see. Josh Long up for the Heisman. He's on top. Then you got Green from Texas A&M, Portis from uh, University of Florida. Then, of course, Jackson, who's slipping on the list. He was number one to start the year. He won it last year. Might be an uphill battle to get him there. But, hey, maybe he can ball versus USC and capture that record. So, here we go. USC is ranked number 11, 4-1, 3-0 in conference. The Golden Bears, ranked number 3, 6-0 overall, and hoping to remain unbeaten. We got to be perfect if you want a chance at that natty in year two. We were ranked number two. But did not play the national championship game. I believe it was LSU that was in there instead of us. So anyways, here we go from Southern Cal. Jackson gets us up to the 15-yard line. Matthews under some pressure. Throws it to the running back out of the backfield. That's Harper who brings it in for a first down. Don't run the ball, Harper. To the left side. Good blocking. Had a full head of steam and picks up six. Third down. Three-man rush by the Trojans and not going to sniff the quarterback. Then bowling is loose. Bowling is gone. Everybody but d who did score last week versus Washington, is getting in the end zone. When, again, he has one touchdown to tie Aaron Coley, another one to pass him up. Second down to five. Kemp going to try to get loose, and Kemp does get loose. Brought down at the 32-yard line first down. They fake it to Kemp. And Mark Sanchez looking up at that Southern Cal sky. As he's laying on his back on the turf. They throw it to Thomas underneath the coverage. And that's not going to work out for a first down. So we take over. Valentine going to get into the ball game early. To solidify that rushing attack. With the triple option. Give it to the first option. Now he pitch it to Harper. And that's going to give us a first down. They rip at the football. But they can't get it out of there. Valentine going to go to the left side. And he pitches it. And the ball is loose. We had some space. But they're able to get in between the quarterback and the pitch man, and it causes a fumble. So Sanchez, third down and 11, going deep. Thomas makes the catch. Touchdown, USC. And this football game is tied at 7-0. Would this be a classic just like last week's game versus Washington? Harper to the left side. Three defenders end up on the ground, and he's still standing. Third down and seven. Matthews. Surveys the field, throw it to the fifth year senior who makes the catch, pal. Paul, not pal, but Paul out for coming through when we need him too. And now d is loose. d touchdown, number 52. A simple out route. The DB went for the ball. That was a mistake because d got too much speed. 
So first down and 10 and going to run the ball with Kent. Breaks a tackle brought down by Chris Pratt. Just shy of the first down. Toss right now to Kemp, and Pratt is there again. Deja vu, but this time they said he picked up a first down. We're going to send the blitz. We're not going to get there. They throw it to Thomas. Who's loose? 50, 45, 40, and brought down just shy of the 35-yard line. Thomas working on Carter there. Sanchez with a perfect pass. And here come the Trojans back in California territory. They're going to step up. They throw this one day, but he overthrows his man. Intercepted by Joel James. I mean, it's Southern California, so maybe it's, it's Joel Jimenez. Right? Did I do that right? Maybe I did. Maybe I didn't. Robinson to the left side after that pick by Joel Jimenez. Going to get this one up to the 36-yard line. Get your full backs involved. That pass caught by Jackson, his second in the contest for a first down. We're going to run the ball with Thomas, and Thomas has a first down in his back pocket. And that's going to take us to the second quarter, up by seven. Second down and 11. Wide receiver screen. Parks got a block, broke a tackle, and brought down after a gain of around three yards from the 17. Now third down and seven. Matthews looking. Matthews going to walk into a sack. Smith gets in there. We got to set up for a field goal, and the kick is right through the uprights so we're up by 10 sanchez throws it that pass tempted and caught by adams sometimes the ball would just bounce your way and it did right there second down and 10 up from the 39 yard line sanchez has it throws it caught by thomas thomas sprinting cross midfield has a first down and tracked down by carter looking now for the sanchez and he gets sacked Solaire was sacked number two today Sanchez from a clean pocket, ain't clean no more. And that's Brown with the sack and the big T. Yo, the big D tackle put too much weight on Sanchez and he's out. Hope this is not too serious. And now Matthews goes down. So USC burns a timeout. Both teams have two left. Minute 15 on the clock looking for Jackson and that's a perfect pass. We work our way up to the 39 yard line. Second down and nine. Matthews surveys the field, throws it to Johnson and that's going to bring this drive to an end. The pick gets USC the ball back. White looking downfield. White, I believe, is a freshman. No, a true sophomore, excuse me. He was a true freshman last year. White throws it to Evans. One problem, he plays for the Golden Bears. For the 27 now, first down and 10. We're going to run the ball with Robinson. And the fullback going to pick up a first down. So now we will call a timeout. We're just going to try to milk the clock. And now Matthews rolls right, throws it deep. Jackson makes the catch, breaks the tackle, got away. Touchdown number 53 for history. Aaron Coley has finally been surpassed. He has been in the rookie in the record books, excuse me, forever. ATU was like 2015, I want it was 2017. It was somewhere around there. It was it was pre-pandemic, I know that. But my goodness gracious. And now D Jax is that man. Heisman Trophy last year, most receiving touchdowns in the career this year. Brown with another tackle for loss. He came through when we needed him to last week. The deep tackles have been kind of quiet this season, but Brown has been you know, speaking loudly so far in this video. First down and 10 as we take over. Going to run that option. And Valentine, Valentine, I believe I call him everything. I'm going to call him Valentine, maybe for now. No, Valentine, I don't know. Valentine, that's what we're going to go with. Matthews takes a shot deep. That's bowling out there. Bowling brings it in again. This receiving core is unmatched. We still got Jackson. He should be playing in the NFL right now. But he's still here. And then, of course, Bowling, Cody Parks, Ashley, all part of the same recruiting class as Thomas gets into the end zone. And those three receivers I mentioned were one, two, and three coming out of high school at that position. Play fake. White throws it. Caught. And that's a touchdown for the Trojans. So USC down by 16. Matthews looking downfield, not going to let it fly, and he's going to get sacked. So bringing the option quarterback, Chris Valentine, to do this, that. Run the option up to the 45-yard line we go. Third down and nine. Matthews back in the ball game, rolling left. Sets his feet, throws it deep, caught by Cody Parks. Parks is loose. Caught from behind at the USC 22-yard line. We're going to run the ball with Thomas, breaking ankles. Thomas has a first down, not done breaking ankles, and he's finally caught. Inside the five. Third and goal. Valentine. He gets a chance to pass it here. 
And he's going to roll left, and he's going to run out of real estate to start the year. He was our starting quarterback, but I felt like Roosevelt gave us a better chance with all these receivers. And I think that's proven true, but Valentine is still a very good quarterback and very, definitely an option threat. There goes White, breaks the tackle. White, all the way to the 40, to the 35 yard line, excuse me, for a first down. They fake it. Now they're going to run the triple option. That pass, that uh, pitch goes to Kemp, and Kemp works his way upfield for a first down to end the third. So fourth quarter action now. They're down. Got to find a spark here. That pass going to be caught by Adams, and that's going to move the chains on the halfback pass. From the 33, White, he's going to get picked off again by Evans, but that was not his fault. The ball should have been caught, but should have, would have, could have never get the job done. So we're going to run the ball, Harper. Harper, he's breaking ankles now. He's reading through traffic with a beautiful spin move, and time is tick, tick, ticking away. Valentine, he is loose. Valentine. Has a first down. Third down and six now. Roosevelt Matthews in the ball game. Throws it to Cody Parks and that pass is caught. And now it's third down and ten under three minutes to go. Throwing it to Jackson. Touchdown number 54 for his career. 40 to 15 is the score. Tackle on the PAT. 41 to 15 is the final. One win. Washington. That was like an instant classic, especially in that first half. This game was number 11. I mean, we kind of have USC's number in this here dynasty. Stanford is the one team that we're having the most trouble with. Oregon State has been a handful as well. But USC, we kind of handle. So I'm glad that we kind of run California. UCLA, they kind of throw their hat in the California pool, pool last season by beating us. But for the most part, they've kind of been an afterthought in this here dynasty. But our defense balled out. We got some pressure, got some turnovers. And then our passing attack, man, it's absolutely phenomenal. But I mean, we haven't really seen Ashley yet. And again, he was a top three recruit at his position to go along with bowling and to go along with Cody Park. So I believe was the number one receiver in that whole class. So again, Cody Parks might be gone before Ashley even gets to really see the field. Right now, Ashley is a, I want to say, he is a redshirt sophomore. So he still has two years left of eligibility. So we're really not worried about that. But we definitely do not want to fall back when these guys do decide to leave. Jackson's done after this. After, like, he's a senior. This is it for him. Uh, so we do have to make sure that we retool this position group. Because I do feel like the passing attack with this squad is going to be epic throughout this whole dynasty all right rushing attack it may be hit or miss but i mean we had marshawn lynch you know what i'm saying in my estimation a future hall of famer at running back two-time heisman winner here in this dynasty two-time 2000 yard rusher absolutely stupid numbers first time he did it was a sophomore second time as a junior back-to-back -back heismans for him this might be the first time in our dynasty that we do not win the Heisman. But I think Deshaun Jackson threw his name back in the running after this performance versus USC. So we move up to number two in the nation, Ohio State. They're number one, followed by Miami, Florida, Texas A&M, Georgia, Oregon State, LSU, NC State, Nebraska, Virginia. They lose to UNC, so they drop out of the top ten. Stanford, they won. Penn State, they won. Uh, South Carolina, both USC's, they end up losing. Then Purdue, they beat Wisconsin. Oklahoma lost to Kansas. Upset City. Baker Mayfield. You ain't grabbing nothing right now, is you? Anyways, though, that is going to do it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I do hope that the rest of your day is the best of your day. And until me to get my friends, peace, love. That's awesome.